Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. I'm coming at y'all with a brand new review video on the Air Jordan 7210 11s. But before we get into that, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Hess Kicks and the Wifey. If you guys didn't know, their baby arrived today and that is just crazy. That is a big step in life. So big shout out to you, Hess Kicks. Make sure to congratulate him and his wife. The link will be down below in the description to his Instagram post with his little baby all up in it. But yeah, man, big shout out to you guys. And also, this environment might look a little bit different to you guys, and that is because my neighbor decided to remove all of his carpet today, and they're just straight up banging it up in his room. Straight up sounds like Call of Duty, which is why I had to move to the living room down here because you could kind of hear it a little bit less. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it. So if you guys do hear banging, I do apologize for that in advance. Other than that, we're gonna get into a quick forecast with the videos. Now this is like the Sneakerhead in the Bay slash Weatherman series. Now, first of all, I did finish all of my finals today, so your boy is a free man for about three weeks. I know some schools get like a month and a half off for Christmas. If I had like a month and a half, you know, some crazy ass videos would be coming out. But I got three weeks, I'm gonna be doing restorations, customizations, and much more, so make sure you stay tuned to this channel. You can also follow me on Instagram, at Sneakerhead in the Bay, and Twitter, at Bay Area Shoehead, to keep yourself updated with the latest and greatest deals, and with my life. Anyways, without rambling on too much, let's get right into this review. We have the Air Jordan 7210 11s. Now this shoe is a crazy, crazy shoe. We're gonna start off with the box actually because I know there's people that love the box. They love the pullout boxes. This box right here is the typical Air Jordan 11 box with the pullout. Now I feel like they should have used this box right here for the Bread 11s that came out in I wanna say 2012. Don't quote me on it, but the recent Bread 11s, and please, save the comments. I don't wanna hear somebody being all specific. They released in December 23rd, 2013, 2012. Cut it. I don't wanna hear it, don't quote me on it. But yeah, man, the tag reads Air Jordan 11 Retro, Black, Gym Red, White, Anthracite. Now the price tag is hefty on this pair right here. 220 clams. This was the same price as the Maroon 6s, and I remember Yo Ante mentioned in his video that uh, some people were returning their pairs because they didn't have enough money to buy this pair right here. And being that this pair was supposed to release next week on Saturday, it kind of forced them to rush and make some decisions, and they decided to return the Air Jordan 6s. Just in case you guys are curious, I did purchase this pair from JeromeKicks.com. If you guys are interested in a pair, you can visit the website. The link will be down below in the description. And I do have a code to hook you guys up. It will get you $10 off your entire order. The code is S-I-N-T-B. So yeah. I'm not sure how this pair is going to go in terms of availability. Y'all can leave comments down below on what you think. But being that this is a Jordan 11, I feel like... I don't know, a lot of people go crazy over the Jordan 11s. If you remember the Concords, people died. If you remember the Legend Blues, people died over here. There's Bread 11s, Gamma 11s. Pretty much any 11 that released, it was just mad hot. And I feel like they did this one really well. So without, without rambling on too much, let's get right into the shoe. The outsole, we have a nice milky outsole. Now this is different. It's not that translucent iciness that we see on like the Space Jam 11s. The Concord 11s were a little bit blue tinted. Now these ones are like milk. A little, little light tint of that sea glow or light blue, but to me, I feel like this whole thing is very, very white. And I'm not sure how that's going to play out in terms of yellowing. Um, so if you guys like icy soles, I feel like maybe this pair right here would be for you because I feel like this white will prevent the yellowing from kind of coming through. Um, compared to like the translucent outsoles, but I'm not too sure. That is just my little guesstimate. Typical Air Jordan 11 midsole. Now something that really caught my eye on this pair right here is that patent leather. And that's just something that's so iconic with the Air Jordan 11s. I feel like that's one of the reasons why people mess with the Jordan 11s is because of that shiny patent leather. On Jordan 11s, you usually see like solid patent leather, all black. This one has a texture underneath, so I thought that was really nice. It's almost as if the tumbled leather from the uppers is traveling down to the patent leather area, and of course they put that little shine up on there. Very nice in my opinion. Jordan Brand is doing big things when it comes to this sneaker right here because they're changing a lot of stuff up. First of all, they're using that leather on the uppers. Now this is a tumbled leather, more of like the leather that came up on the 
Oreo 4s this year. And I feel like this is very good quality leather, especially on the tongue. It's a lot softer than the sides for some reason. I'm not sure if that's a support thing or if they decided to use maybe a softer leather for the tongue on purpose. But yeah, I feel like it's a very, very great move on Jordan Brand's part. They're also using Nubuck Hits right here with the laces, like these little side pieces right here. I'm not even sure what it's called. But up here with the eyelets, yeah, all black Nubuck. And that black Nubuck is on the ankle portion as well, which is something that's different. The only Nubuck, I think 11, was the, uh, the Cool Grays with this material on the back right here. Usually they use like a like a synthetic leather or something like that and it creases up a lot. But I'm not sure how these ones are gonna go as far as creasing. Um, they do have a metallic red Jumpman right here and the Stitched in 23, which is something that is different. Again, usually it'd be like that t-shirt print material that cracks and people have red 11s that started cracking or peeling on the 23. This one is no big deal. It's stitched in. I think it's really nice. And we got the Air Jordan tag right here, all blacked out except for the jump man right there so i think that's a very nice hit oh and also before i forget the carbon fiber we gonna scratch it a little scratch test for all my people out there the scratch fiends it's that red and black carbon fiber right here nice little shank plate i think this shoe was done very very well but yeah if you guys can't tell your boy's losing his voice a little bit i did record like two or three videos before this one and they all deleted on my uh, camera because the battery ran out when I put like a fresh battery in before I started recording. But anyways, if you guys can hit that like button, I would really appreciate it. Make sure to hit that like button. Um, it goes a long way, trust me on that. And if you guys are new to this channel and you just happen to search up like Air Jordan 72 10 11 review and you guys like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button so then you guys see new videos when I post them. Again, if you guys want to secure a pair for yourselves, make sure to visit JeromeKicks.com and use the code SINTB to save $10 off your order. I think it's about time to put these babies on feet. The patent info will be down below in the description, so don't ask about it. And also, the music info will be down below in the description as well. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Sneakerhead in the Bay, I'm out. Peace. Loud, call me double up seven to wear bombs with the crowd. Without a doubt, we gon' have a blast. In a mouth, in the morning like a flash. I've been undercover, undercover with many lovers. But the chick I'm with made me forget the stupid shit with others that I did. And I never lived down a small town that loves the gossip, so you know it get around. That's why I be chilling in my room most of the time. Internet traverted to the fullest, trying to find why we online. Googling that in the sunshine's crunch time. Tindering, looking for girls that's fun size. But to my surprise, I ain't hit it and quit it. We got acquainted and she got me through my fear commitment. You verse James and Jinx in your game plan stinks. That for Barney and Clyde, something rarer than a mink. And then I smoke one and think, and I think all the time. But why we living life blindly as our destinies unwind? And I'm finding that nothing we wanted to happen happen as planned. So it's how you react when you ain't got the upper hand. All the weed loud, call me double up seven the way I bond with the crowd. Without a doubt, we gon' have a blast. In the mouth, in the morning like a flash. All the drinks poured, all the weed loud. Call me double up seven the way I bond with the crowd.